Hi, this is Ivan Kovacev. I'd like to present to you the new features implemented in the new Art Pro version 6. Now, the Articulation Editor offers three different articulation triggering types, which allow you to switch the articulation maps via automation text points, articulation IDs and program change messages. I have assigned this articulation set to 80 type because the correspondent instrument is based on momentary key switches, which must be triggered or released before or during the note sustaining. The remote assignments designed for the new logic articulation sets can be used with the AGScript plugin, so you can remote the articulation maps via articulation IDs in any song project. First, you have to save the articulation set as a script MIDI remote file. After that, you must export the preset via the copy to clipboard button and paste the clipboard in the script plugin. Finally, you have to load the articulation set if you want to show the ID names in the logic editors. By the way, the MIDI remote button must be enabled if you want to record articulation IDs in real time. After the recording, you can select the note events and change the articulations if you need that. Well, it's time to present to you the most attractive combo type. You can enable the AT and ID checkboxes, which will allow you to change the articulation triggering types on the fly. Look, the articulation names are shown in the scripter and in the MIDI automation view. I load the articulation set to show the names in the piano row articulation menu. Let's preview this example first. Note, the bottom ID automation point switches the articulations to ID type in this passage here. The ID mode allows you to select note events and set different articulations per each note via the piano row articulation menu. Look, I'll change the ID point into Corleno. In this case, the scripter will switch to MIDI automation type and will perform all note events with Corleno, regardless the note articulation ID assignments. The big advantage of the combo articulation types is that you have two articulation alternatives. The automation switching is very convenient for quick composing of long passages where you can draw or record an articulation point directly in the main window without opening editors and selecting note events. The AG articulation system is based on region automation, which allows you to copy or move the regions without any troubles. The text points and the note IDs are embedded into the region like any standard MIDI data. The new advanced articulation remote allows you to use various external devices to switch the articulation type. You can use external MIDI buttons, a modulation wheel, a toggling key switch or the new iPad remote control to switch the automation and ID types in real time. Let me record a short demo. Look, in the first take recording, I switched to ID type in the middle of the region because I plan to record a second take with a legato melody in that place. Now, I'll switch the remote controller to ID type and record the legato part. Done! 
The second take recording is much with the first take, so I recorded polyphonic articulations in the ID part of this region. The new selective articulation import feature allows you to build combo articulation sets from existing presets very easily. The large combo sets can contain all articulation palettes offered by a given library. Let me show the selective import procedure. First, you have to load any preset and switch the editor to channel view to be able to see the MIDI channel assignments of the imported articulations. Now, double-click the second preset you want to import in the Finder and press the Don't Close button. As you see, the second preset is opened in a new editor instance, allowing you to select several articulations and drag and drop them onto any position in the main editor instance. The imported articulations are selected automatically in the main editor, allowing you to change any of the map assignments simultaneously, in this example, the MIDI channel. Finally, I'll import the legatos. You can use the new arrow buttons for fine parameter adjustment. I will clear all color assignments because I plan to assign new colors later. Now the combo preset is completed, however it will be difficult to work with it because the articulations are ordered randomly. Let me show some of the AG Editor organization features. I will select all long articulations Cover them in red and click the group maps by color in the quick menu. Now I'll select all CS articulations and group them using another technique called magnetic ordering. Let's cover and reorder the other groups. The group view allows a custom ordering as well, so I move the Rachmaninoff articulation to the second position. I want to split out the longs in two groups, that's why I use different names, longs and longs SL respectively. The group's coloring and naming is very important for the AG iPad automatic layout creation. Finally, you have to name the articulation combo set and type or paste a rich text document in the info pan if you want. Let's teleport that articulation set to the iPad to test the auto layout creation there. I have loaded this combo set in Logic, so I have a direct access to all articulations in the main window and in the various Logic editors. Let's try that combo. Fine, it works as expected. The brand new control change multiplication saves lots of CPU resources during duplicating a controller stream to different MIDI channels. Our revolutionary technology doesn't use a contact KSP plugin or a second MIDI FX scripter with lots of complicated parameters. Look at the image scheme. The single expression automation will be multiplied only to the active voices of the playing MIDI channels when I run the sequencer. I'll convert the expression into MIDI volume to show the controller multiplication visually. Please look at the volume faders automation. The spiccato volume fader will stop moving at bar 4 because the spiccato part ends there. Note, the controller multiplication starts with a perfect value chasing when I run logic from any time position. There are no level jumps or any audio artifacts during the active voice controller multiplication. The new Safe As Template feature allows you to create large articulation presets 
and optimize them very quickly. Look, the Save As template adds a spanner icon after the preset name. The Articulation Maps templates are powered by special optimization engine which searches for new assignment changes and deletes all maps which are not updated. I'll select several non-assigned maps randomly and color them red. Look, the Optimize function deletes all non-covered maps because they are not changed. I'll revert to the original project to show you another scenario. I'll select several maps and will increase the key switch assignments by a semitone. Now the map selection is updated with new key switch assignments, so the Optimize engine will delete all non-updated maps in one go. AG Editor offers various methods of quick articulation maps creation. Let me demonstrate some of them. First, you must create a new map and assign the basic key switch. After that, you just press the Copy Map Next KS1 button and name the maps. You can also create maps without names and name the maps after the creation. The instrument may contain empty articulation slots, so you can use the new Optimize function to delete the slots automatically. This Vienna factory matrix uses key switches for the horizontal articulation self switching and control change 1 for the vertical self switching. First, you must create a basic map and set the correspondent key switch and control assignments. After that, you have to press the Copy Maps Next KS button to create maps for the first sales row. Now, you have to select and duplicate the maps and set only the correspondent controller value for the second sales row. You must repeat the procedure for the other matrix rows. Let's check the assignments. Fine, all is done perfectly. Finally, you have to name the articulation maps and organize them into groups and colors if you want. I'll load another Vienna factory matrix which uses key switches to switch the X and Y axis. There are lots of empty articulation cells in this matrix, so I will demonstrate how to delete them lately. I'll set the basic map with two key switches and we'll use the copy map next KS1 function. Note the KS1 is copied with the next semitone for the X axis and the KS2 is only duplicated according to the Y matrix mapping. Well, the first row is completed, so I will duplicate the row assignments and increase the KS2 assignment for each row. Look, I have named the cells of the first and second rows up to the B10 empty cell. There are four empty cells, so I'll select the next four maps in the editor and delete them. I'll continue to name the enabled cells and to delete the disabled cells using the same procedure. Here is a factory look of the same articulation set. Note, all maps are organized in the iPad and Logic so that you can navigate and compose easily. AG Editor offers various quick art set creation methods for the instruments which are based on MIDI channel switching. In this example preset, all maps have only a MIDI channel assignment. This sort of articulation set must be stored in a single instrument mode and the logic track must be set to channel all. You can create maps quickly using the Copy Maps Next Channel function. You can also use AG Factory Channel Switcher preset template and only rename the articulations according to the instrument single patch names. Here is another example where all last single patches are set to different mini channels and a Spitfire multi-patch instrument which is set to channel 3. I use the Copy Map Next KS1 button to create key switching maps set to channel 3 automatically. Let's optimize the maps and cover the Spitfire maps in green and the last in orange. I will use Select Equal Channels and Invert the Selection functions, 
which are very useful for large articulation sets quick editing. The new Hard ID instrument mold is specially designed for the Logic Factory instruments. In this mold, the program change assignment is changed into articulation ID assignment, which allows you to assign articulation ID numbers and switch the articulations via automation control points, articulation ID or program change triggering types in Logic. Let's audition this short demo. Look, it takes a second to change the articulation in the main window. In this example, I will create additional maps for the momentary key switches covered in blue. I will select all maps and cover them in red. After that, I will duplicate the selection and change the base key switch to C-1, which will transpose the selection in one go. I will add a short text abbreviation to the momentary articulations and switch on the latch function for all maps. The momentary key switches are velocity sensitive, so I'll set them to velocity 100, for example. The factory empty template offers 128 maps, which can be assigned and optimized within a minute thanks to the multi-selection batch editing functions. I'll switch to channel view to show you the channel assignments of the selected maps. Now it is possible to increase or decrease the selection by holding down the Option computer key and clicking the value assignment arrows. As you see, you can use all sorts of value tweaking which processes the selection, keeping the value ratios. You can hold down the Shift and Option keys and click the value assignment if you need to equalize the selection. Let me show how to create a large key switching articulation set using this empty template. First, you have to select a number of articulation maps you need to assign after that, you must set the base key switch. Now, all maps are set to C0, so I'll hold down the Option key and click the upper key switch assignment arrow to increase the selection. Note, you must enable the white keys option if you want to increase the key switch selection using a white piano keys order. Finally, you have to set the articulation names and press the O key command to delete the non-assigned maps. Naming the articulation maps is the most time-consuming procedure, that's why we develop a special function which can clear the map's output assignments, keeping the articulation names. To change the map's output assignments, you have to select all maps and use the clear map assignments function. Note, I cleared only the controller assignments without the articulation names. Now, I'll select several articulation maps and build a new economical set on the fly. I will change the MIDI channel assignments to channel 1 and will increase the base channel assignment. Finally, all maps are set to channels 1 to 8, so you can use this economical set without the Contact 64 KSP plugin. To demonstrate the multi-instruments, I'll open this factory large orchestral template which comes with 1200 instruments. The multi-timbral instruments save a lot of system resources and allow you to use more than 256 logic instruments. The multi-timbral instrument tracks are set to channels 1 to 16 per each multi. To build a multi-articulation set, you must switch the AG editor to multi-instrument mode. In this example, 
I'll convert this single set into multi and show you how to create multi sets very quickly. In this example, I'll rename the first MIDI part into V1 because I plan to use it with the first violins. Look, I'll select part 1 and press the copy maps next channel button. I'll type a global instrument name V2 and enable the instrument prefix box which will add the instrument type to the articulation names shown in logic. Let me repeat the copy procedure for the other string instruments. The key switches of the basses in my example instrument are set to octave 5, so I will type C5, which will transpose all key switches to that octave number, keeping the enabled semitone order. Now you can change the MIDI channel of all maps directly in the part editor. You can also make a custom part selection and tweak the channels to set them according to the multi-instrument channel assignments. For the sake of this demo, I'll enable different articulation triggering types for each MIDI part. The articulations of all parts are the same, so you have to save only a single part as an articulation set if you want to see the ID names in the logic editors. It is time to copy and paste the multi set into the Scripta plugin. Note, the Scripta plugin creates separate articulation switching parameters for each MIDI channel. This technology saves lots of CPU and logic resources because you use a single scripter for all 16 instruments loaded into that multi. You have to switch to automation view and assign each articulation parameter to the correspondent track. All multi-articulation sets are loaded as expected, so I can show you a short demo composition. Now it is possible to build multi-instrument articulation sets from existing single instrument presets. You can open, import with next MIDI channel or merge a single preset with the selected part directly from Finder. I'll open this Piccolo Plus single preset to create a multi-instrument for the high woodwinds. I'll switch to multi-instrument mode and will enable the import with next channel function. Now I can double click or drag and drop the single presets in the finder and import them as new parts into the multi set. Finally, you can select all parts and tick the ID checkbox to set all parts to that triggering type. The merge with selected part function allows you to merge several single articulation sets with the selected part in the AG editor. For the sake of this demo, I have loaded three matrixes into MIDI channel 1. In this example, the matrix switching is set to key switches type. The part merge function allows you to double click a preset in the finder and merge it with the selected part in the editor. The imported mute violin maps are auto selected, so I'll color them blue. After importing the preset, I'll select all maps and use another powerful function called Swap KS1 and KS2. The key switch 1 is sent before key switch 2 in logic, that's why I had to swap the assignments before assigning the matrix key switches. Now I'll select all articulation maps belonging to a given matrix and assign the key switch 1 to the correspondent matrix key switch. Now it is very easy to extract a single part from a multi-articulation set and store it as a single instrument set. 
All you have to do is to select the instrument set you wish to get from the multi and switch to single instrument mode. Note, the MIDI channel of the single set is transformed into channel 1 automatically. The AG Articulation Editor offers a compact articulation navigator which can be used as always on top window with any Mac application. The navigator offers a few prefix views so you can switch to remote key switch view if you plan to use external MIDI remote key switches. You can right click the editor and set the remote root key switch which usually is the bottom most key on your MIDI keyboard. For example, users who own the iPad Lima application don't need the navigator because the AG editor can teleport all articulation names directly in the iPad. The navigator is very useful for users who own an iPad application such as Touch OSC for example. In this case, the navigator is pinned on top of the Touch OSC editor so you can read and type the articulation names very easily. The AG system offers another articulation navigator which can display the articulations directly in the script user interface. By the way, you can store different remote key switch sets in the Advanced MIDI Remote tool and switch them according to the track instrument specifics. You must enable the Show Script Navigator setting and tick the Add Remote KS checkbox. It is a good idea to know that you can set different remote root keys for each scripter. I will use C0 for most of the instruments. Look, the scripter displays all articulation as float list which is placed below the articulation switching parameter menu. To use the scripter as a navigator efficiently, you must enable the plugin chain button and hide the plugin header. Well, let's select the violin struck to test the auto chain function. Fine, the scripter user interface is changed from piccolo to violin's display view, which is a very convenient feature. Now I can use the C0 remote key switch which behaves as an articulation type toggling key switch so I will be able to look at the navigator list to get an idea about the articulation remote key switches. Many of today's instruments come with a large articulation amount, that's why you have to expand the script user interface to show the complete articulation list. Thanks for watching this video.